Welcome back to the Bible Reading Project. Ooh, you pointed. Man, it's just like a habit. Welcome back to the Bible Reading. <laughs> welcome, welcome back to the Bible. <laughs> welcome back to the Bible Reading Project. It is Thursday. Trivia Thursday. We're going to give away a big, big prize today. Oh, yeah. Dude, I am more excited almost about the day. Why? Knuckle it up. Last week, David White won a year supply of best coffee ever, Black, Black Rifle, Rifle Coffee. coffee. We're sponsored by them, almost. Yeah. We shout out to them. I bet there's nowhere else on the planet that someone is shouting out <laughs> Black Rifle Coffee every single day. Yeah. And we have... Well, this is... To be honest, this is our first time this week talking about that. Yeah. We have 222 followers. Right. Out of those 222, probably 10 of them follow. Yeah. So 10 people every day are hearing about Black Rifle Coffee. Right. And you know what I'm doing to help Black Rifle Coffee do their mission of supporting veterans? You're giving it away. I'm giving it away as fast as I can get it. I yeah. gave away some last week. I'm going to give you two bags last week. But today is not the Black Rifle Coffee Day. It is trivia day. We do it every single Thursday. And we give away some Black Rifle Coffee. But no longer. Guess what it is? Mm -mm. Dude, oh, yeah. It is a date, date night. night. Dinner on us. To Gabe's. You know where Gabe's is? Yeah. I Gabe's, love Gabe's downtown, Villa Rica, or Douglasville. So is this like a double date? Like whoever wins is going to go to dinner with us? That, that, I like food. I like It says dinner on us, not with us. But I Because like, that would be awkward. I like with us. Blair. Like being on a date night with like, a couple yeah. and it's me and you. Yeah, bantering. I like that even better. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll probably go with them. So, whoever wins has to, we'll like go with them. Like, they'll sit on one side of the we'll booth. Sit on one side of the Me booth. Me and you will we'll just sit on the other side of the booth, like, and just <laughs> and banter <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> so, whatever they want to do, they may invite us. They may say, hey, we want you and Ryan yeah. to come with us on our date. I think you should, because I like food. Right. And so, but it is a Gabe's. So, Gabe's is great, man. It's a Louisiana bistro. Yeah. And so, all you need is 10 questions. Okay. What I gathered from last week is I'm I'm a cheater and a tricker, and you're righteously holy. Yeah. You've never done anything wrong in your life, but not me. <laughs> the owner of the Bible reading project <laughs> is a tricker. The, the The Lord has heard my cry so, that he that he um that he carried you away. And yeah. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> so I'm I'm promise I'm not cheating. Yeah. I'm going to be as fair as possible. Tell them how fair I am because who picked the topic this week? Uh, I did. Ryan picked the topic this week. But, so. uh, that, that sounds fabricated, though. What? Because you have to know. The, like I said, hey, bro, what do you want the topic to be this week? And, and he I said, said, I don't know. And then I went on Google and mm -hmm. I said, topics for trivia. So not cheating. You're just Googling. And I just said... Uh oh, geography. And okay, said, so okay. you picked what geography? So we're doing geography. <laughs> Ten questions of geography, but because I was labeled a tricker, yeah. You, Robin, is the sacrificial lamb, right? You are the righteousness of God, yeah. You're you're holy, yeah. And true. I'm a tricker, yeah. I decided to allow you one phone call. Yep. You can call a friend, yeah. phone a friend at any given moment of the ten questions, right. To help you get all ten right, mm -hmm. no tricks to it. Uh, and oh wait, they can they can help me. The whole time? Nope. They can only help you on one question. So you have to do it. So it's geography. So I'm going to give you two just kind of off the, just to practice. Okay. So the first two are practice runs okay. to see how well you do. Okay. So where is this located? There's the question mark. This is a map of what? The United States. The of United America. States. So we're good there. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to stay in North America, Central, and South America. Okay. We're just going to stay in our quadrant of the world. Yeah. They're going to progressively get harder. So okay. think about that as you go. Progressively harder. Where is this? The question mark? Yeah, where is that? What Georgia, state? That's Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. You're confident with that. Yeah. That that is the state of Georgia. Yes. That's correct. That's okay. the state of Georgia. So that's the way it's going to run. Okay. Let's do one more because you seemed a little uncertain. You're <laughs> yeah, okay. you're, you're like there. So, <laughs> but I didn't know if it was like a trick. Like, um, the question mark is like yeah, no, Central Macon, no, Georgia. No, so I'm not tricking. Okay. It's just to get the state. You are you are known as the trick. The tricker. Get yeah. the state. Where is this? Uh, that's Washington. Sure. Yep. So now it's you kind of got the hang of yeah, it. Yeah, now that I know you're not tricking me. You just all you gotta do is tell me where the red question mark is. You yeah. get one phone a friend. Okay. Anytime you feel stuck, yep. you can call anybody you want to call. Okay. Ask them the question. But once you call them, it's over. And you either get the rest of them right to move forward with the date night with us. Yeah. 
I like it. Or not. Are you ready to go? So I get to only get one question wrong. Uh, you don't get to get any of them wrong. I got to get 100%. You got to go 100% to get a date night with us. Okay. All right. So uh, let's start. Here we go. Well, we got to. Are we going to pick our winner? Where is the. Oh, yes. Dude. That's why you're the owner of the show. <laughs> I'm nothing more than just here to be a radio personality. <laughs> so what we do is we spin the wheel. Thank you so yep, much. The for wheel doing of that. trivia. The wheel of trivia. And here we go. Come on. Oh yeah. Who's going on a date night with us? <laughs> if they invite us. Right. Who's going to invite us, Ryan? Let's see. Who's going on a date? Chelsea Pace. Chelsea Pace. <laughs> do you know Chelsea Pace? I do. I don't know her um, that well, but I know I know her. But you know Chelsea yeah. Pace. And I, I know she follows the Bible Reading she Project. She does follow the Bible Reading Project because yeah. she's commented before. That's true. And her husband is named Michael Pace. That's true. So Michael and Chelsea will go on a date to Gabe's downtown Villa Rica and or Douglasville. Yeah. If you can get the questions right, well, let's see. they go. They may invite us. Dude. Dude, you never can tell. It just depends on if they want to have fun or not. I mean, if they're polite, like they would invite us. I mean, if they're a husband and wife, they're like, yeah, we go out all the time. They want to invite us right. so we could banter. Yeah. Because that would make the date night so much more fun. Oh, yeah. To have us there bantering yeah. and bantering over like appetizers. That would be awesome. <laughs> just we'll banter about anything. Yeah. Nothing's off limits. So. Here's your first question. Okay. Where is this? That is Louisiana. Louisiana. That is correct. Where is this? Um, <laughs> um, I believe that's uh, Iowa. Iowa. That is absolutely. You certain? Yeah. Correct. All right. Where is this? That is Wyoming. Wyoming. Very, very good. You're feeling confident that <laughs> Iowa kind of threw you. you. Yeah, I did. You were like, oh, wait I a didn't, minute. I didn't know if it was Iowa or Arkansas, but. But you you went with Iowa, and that was right. You got Wyoming right. We're going to kind of move to the other side of the state. You okay. grew up over on the other side, kind of yep. in Virginia. Coast. Let's see how well you do. Okay. That is Ohio. Ohio. Mm -hmm. Very good. The Buckeye did, State. The Buckeye State. Did you study a lot in, uh, or, I mean, because you were confident about geography and you just, mm -hmm. you're nailing the USA, yeah. man. Are you I a do. traveler? I like to travel. You travel. Mm -hmm. Do you just sit at home and study the United States? I do, yeah. I'm proud. Let's yeah. see how good you do now. Okay. That is Vermont. Gosh, man. I think Chelsea Pace is excited right now. <laughs> We're almost home. <laughs> All right. But now we've got to jump down into Central and Mid-America, on down into South America. I'm not sure why. Because <laughs> the, the only part that matters is the United States of America. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no, no, no. There's a lot of good food that comes out of South America yeah, and Central well, America. Monterey's. Monterey's. Shout out to Os Osvaldo. Osvaldo. Oh, whoop. Man, they take care of us Monterey. Let's jump on. Oh, see, up north. We're in Canada now. North America, that's the provinces of Canada. It doesn't matter. Provinces, so what? I mean, if you're Canadian, I mean, you get it. It doesn't matter. Where is this province? In the middle. And it would be, you want to call a friend? Okay. Or do you feel pretty confident? I'm going to need to call a friend. All right, go ahead and pick your friend. Who's your friend you're going to call? I don't know. I need a Canadian friend. Oh, that would be Ray. That would be Eliana. Oh, that would be yeah, Mr. Ray. I'm gonna, so you, well, I'm going to call Miss Laverne because I have I don't have Ray's number. So you have Miss Laverne's number. I'm going to call Miss Laverne. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the one ready to see. She's from Canada, right? Yeah. So we'll see how it works. Hello. Right hey, Miss Laverne. This is Ryan. Hi, Ryan. How are you? Yeah. What's up? I'm here with Pastor Mark. And on the Bible reading project, and he has stumped. <laughs> we're doing the Bible reading project, and it's Trivia What's Thursday, huh? Okay. And all right, Pastor Mark's gonna. <laughs> we have a question for you from that Canada. I need help with. It's a Canadian question. What's her oh, number? Okay. And Pastor Mark's gonna text you a picture. Okay, what's the number? All right, the number is. We're gonna bleep all this out. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and send that, send that to her right now. So she should be getting that picture of a province in Canada. And that province in Canada, Ryan needs help with so he can move forward. So let, let us know when you get that picture. Oh, my. Did the picture come through? Okay. Let's see now. It's been a minute, so let's see. Mm. This is... Um, I'm at the 
clock starts now with 15 seconds. <laughs> He's giving you 15. Best, best mock. Okay. So, Ryan? Yes. That's Manitoba. Are they certain? Manitoba. You're certain? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, Miss Laverne. We Thank you, Miss Laverne. <laughs> We're okay. going with Manitoba. Bye. All right. Okay. Bye. Are you Are you going with Manitoba? I'm going with Manitoba. You feel confident? Yeah. Manitoba, it is. Right. Hey, thank you, Miss Laverne. Thank you, Miss Laverne. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness for somebody. Can we go back lived. to the United States? Uh, I know we got one more in Canada. You should have held off. Well, why? Because it was one more. Think. Think. You would know what this is. Just think. Quebec. No, I'm so sorry. I would almost let you call another friend. It starts with the word new. Uh, new queen. I don't know. New, new England. Newfoundland. Newfoundland. I'm so sorry. But you know what? I want somebody to win. Okay. I'm moving down to Central and South America to see how well <laughs> you do. I don't know Central America. You don't know that one? No. Do you know this one? Uh, that's like, what, Joey? <laughs> so we're cheating now. No, I'm just. Do you know this one? Do you know this one? <laughs> so basically what you're saying is you don't know any geography outside of the United States. It doesn't matter. So nothing outside of the United States matters. No. So what we're going to do is go ahead and say you failed today. <laughs> Nobody's going well, on a date. Well, ask me what this one is. I know what this one is. What is that one? That one's Brazil. It's Brazil. I know this one. What is that's that? Chile. Chile. Yeah. Okay. So that's Paraguay, by the way. So <laughs> thank you so much for failing. Thank you so much for trying. Yeah. You tried. You did, I did well. I didn't know you wanted to contain it within the fifty United States. Yeah. Uh, you said geography. I did. And I be didn't. fair, you didn't tell me where. No, that's you true. just said geography. geography right. I stayed on it, and mm -hmm. I did geography in a central kind of line of where we live. Yeah. I didn't go outside of our, you know, continent really. That's true. And so I'm sorry you flunked again, <laughs> but we'll be back next week and try to give away something even better, maybe even two date nights, mm -hmm. but we'll have it out there. So thank you so much. Well, what are we reading today in the Bible? Psalm? Today we are reading Psalm 29. 29. How about yes. reading it for us? All right. Honor the Lord, you heavenly beings. Honor the Lord for his glory and strength. Honor the Lord for the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. The voice of the Lord echoes above the sea. The, the God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty sea. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord splits the mighty cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon's mountains skip like a calf. He makes Mount Harem leap like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord strikes with bolts of lightning. The voice of the Lord makes the barren wilderness quake. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord twists mighty oaks and strips the forest bare. In his temple, everyone shouts, Glory! The Lord rules over the floodwaters. The Lord reigns as king forever. The Lord gives his people strength. The Lord blesses them with peace and i love it the voice of the lord yeah what's god sound like to you um like if you had to define it to somebody like we said yesterday mm -hmm. that god is this personal god with a comma that has this character trait mm -hmm. but according to david he also is a speaking god like he talks to us yeah right? right what does that sound like to you if you had to explain god's voice to somebody mm, i guess he to me he he sounds like me in my own head but okay. also but what he says doesn't isn't something that i would say okay. but his voice sounds like me but his okay. the words aren't something i would could come up with and how myself. would you deduce that that's god or you um first lining it up with the word okay and then second what i just naturally think that like what i naturally think about pulling a hundred dollar bill out and giving it away right no sure. i wouldn't right right but god desiring for me to plant a seed in somebody's life would. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think, and I think that's what I would challenge people. Do you wake up every day and go, God, I want to hear your voice today? Um, Yeah, I guess I, you know, I pray the prayer, you know, God, if you can use anyone, you can use me. That's good. So, 
Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Sorry you lost. <laughs> Me I mean, too. I, right. Yeah, really. I was so Sorry, excited. Chelsea. Sorry, Sorry Pace. Chelsea. Sorry, Pace, man. We try on this Bible reading project to bless people, but we're probably going to need another way to do it <laughs> because trivia is not it, right? <laughs> Unless, and we even let you pick this week. Yeah. So maybe what we'll do is let the, our listeners, all 20 of them, to yeah. pick what the subject will be next okay, week, like and that. we'll do it. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow.